So let's finally try the West Highland Way. Uh, supposed to be raining, that was the forecast. Hopefully it stays like this. And I'm with the usual suspects. I'll show you when they get here. And there they are. Kenny, Derek, Julie and Jed. Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Hi folks, it's Saturday, it's a beautiful day and I'm on a overnight, overnighter. Just a local house, as I, well, I call them local houses, about 9-10 miles away. Kilpatrick House again. And we Stuart and Keith. They forgot stuff, so they're away. Way back to the car park, so only like 40 seconds away and getting whatever they forgot. Nice up there, I like it. Like, act normal. It is everything. It is falling. Like, God, Eddie. <laughs> You've seen this view a lot. Have you watched my videos through the start? This is a this is a bit of work. This bit up to Joe Reservoir. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're at the top of the waterfall. This is where we'll get our water. Your reservoir. Enjoying it so far, it's not bad, isn't it? It's not got a better day. Five minutes for the car. Five minutes for the car, that's right. That was about an hour ago we were five minutes for the know. car. I'm lying, I'll tell you it's early much. It took us an hour and 20 minutes. Stuck in the mud there, eh? stuck in the mud. Three people. This Saturday, so it's busy. Plus, it's a nice day. It's probably the nicest day it's been this year, I think, or one of the nicest. Yeah, small meadow and large Duncombe. It's Ben Lomond. We're halfway on the hike, done about three miles. Stuart's got one of the things in his phone. Three miles, I'm gonna three miles of walking to go. 
what a day. It's about time I got a decent day. I was saying that my Loch Etif hike, if you've seen that, that you can't, can't get better conditions than that. But apart from that one, the other four or five times I've been out this year, or the end of, tail end of last year, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, windy, windy trips, not the best of weather. This is just, it's almost perfect hip walking conditions. Slight breeze, it is, it's no warm if we stop, you know, it's, we'll feel the cold. I think the, it's going to be minus, certainly going to be below freezing tonight, I think minus five, something like that. But, uh, cheers, at the moment, it's just about perfect walking conditions. I can head down there and we'll take 20, 15, 20 minutes, have a wee drink and a, and a biscuit. Or a chalky bar, I should say. And then up, up to the slacks and over, and then back down to Loch Humphrey, about in the middle, and then walk through to Blackland. And that's the camp. I was going to take the lads a longer route, but I say if they come up the next time we'll go that way. This is like a maybe a two and a half, three hour route. There is a much longer one, maybe double that, but that's what will do us today. Maybe we sit out a bit and enjoy the sun. Although it'll be it won't it'll be that warm right enough. I've seen several cyclists today. Visibility is good to date, very clear. So that's it, we only had 10 minutes. Uh, up the slacks. That's the only other bit of effort, really. Up here, and then it's just, well, back down again at the other, the other end, and then straight walk, level walk. But halfway up the slacks, maybe a bit less. And that's where we came from, over there, Cockno Hill. A dance or something. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Do you think you can get one with the camera? Yeah. yeah. So oh. we just uh, it's loaded, so just spend that one. Okay, so it's done. <laughs> there you go. It's done. It's done it before. That's Keith's first. Stuart's done it two times, I think. This is second, second go. Third time. And there you go. You can see the green side and you can see Cockno Lock and Jaw Reservoir in the distance. There's the three Duncombs for a different angle. Green up way up there. That's a bit muddy, that bit. Nearly fell in that bit myself. The horses can have to fall over. Like, starfish into the mud. Yeah, I know that bit. Yeah, she made it good. Right. That's it. We're getting there. We're getting there. We'll enjoy a cup of tea. Aye, we'll enjoy a cup of tea when we get in it at the black one. I'm saying that I've got coffee and hot chocolate. You know what I mean. Yeah, 
There's Stuart there. He's going for a swim. <laughs> it's not quite that hot. Quite a few walking groups enjoying the walk, good stuff. Looking good today, the loch. I always like this bit. I always follow this bit because I like it. I like looking at it myself when I look back at the footage. Even if I don't put it in, but I will put it in. Stuart was saying that's seven miles and he's... Oh, he's watching his phone thing, he's checking, but... A GPS thing, but... Uh, Seven, just over seven miles. I think we've got an hour mile. Just about an hour mile to go. That's not too bad. It's a nice walk. Eight miles and a bit of, a wee bit of uphill effort as well. Look at that. Straight on. Visibility, as I said already, is really good. You don't usually spot that. Not as clear as that. That says at the black one. We're just going to camp at the bank. Did that with Stevie. Last time I was at Kilpatrick Hills wasn't that long ago testing the or trying out my MSR Alexa tent. It was up there, and the pitch was pretty poor, and I think I'll say that was the best. The best ground I could find and it was pretty poor, so nah, we'll just we'll just camp here. We we'll get flat, you know, level ground. I've got a red one. I like the red one. Stuart did the game yet though. Buy them or even. I've got that one. I thought you might have swapped. But Julie likes the red one as well. Yeah. Julie wanted my red one. She was saying she would give me a pound more than it was what I paid for it. <laughs> You had your tea, aye? No, I just had I just had a... Oh, I right, found the juice. What the coffee's there, like? I only brought one meal. Got crisps, a couple of packets of crisps, baby bells, a wee squeezy yoghurt, and... No much. Kit Kats, I've got Kit Kats if you like Kit Kats. Oh, chuck one over to you. Kit Kat, now you're talking. Kit Kat and a Twix. Right folks, I'll do the obligatory uh, show the tents footage. I've got my solo. Stuart's got his Abisco Light 1. And Keith's got the Husky, that's what we're calling it. The Husky tent. There it is. Do you, how's it, is it husky or are we pronouncing it wrong? I'm just calling it husky it anyway. Guys. I'm just calling it husky and that's it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I can live with it. I can live with being wrong. Nice view. We've got a better one up at Dugnut Hill. Donut Hill. That's where we're heading. Expected it to be a lot boggier. It's actually not too bad today. It's a wee bit of bog, but it's usually, you know, I would say three, four times worse than this. Almost at the top. Doesn't take long. 15 minutes to where we are, which is there. 
15 minutes, 20 minutes. Second time here. There's a Clyde. There's Loch Lomond there. Fantastic. With a change of plan, we're just heading heading to the tent. Done ten miles. It's not that. It's just I've been up there a couple of times. There's not really much to see unless you walk. You know, you walk up there and then you walk out a wee bit. So we're just going to go back and chillax. Shouldn't be food time. <laughs> Something to eat. I've got a wee, a wee a flask of whiskey. You have a whiskey for your dinner then? Ah, I'm going to whiskey for my dinner, aye. Yeah. Whiskey for my dinner. 6 pm. Me and Keith are another. Go for a wee hike. Stuart's away in his bed, the lazy bugger. <laughs> He'll not like that, no, to be fair, he's just done his bag, he might have drifted off, so we didn't want to disturb him. Is that Greenlands? There's no Greenside, Greenside is the green. I think that's Greenlands Reservoir number two, and that's about, I would say it's maybe five years or longer since I've seen that. I used to be surrounded with trees, i sure that's Greenlands Reservoir number one. Just a short thing is it's a short walk down, but we're walking straight uphill now, so that'll be you know two or three times longer to get back up. That's it, it's a good idea to heat yourself up. And then we're gonna have a wee whiskey when we get back. It's still early, isn't it? <laughs> the night is still young. Half six. Half six. <laughs> yeah. What a night I had. I feel rough as anything. I never had any meal, never ate anything. I had a wee bit of whiskey, just a wee bit, but... No food, no fluids. Just a bit of whiskey, a packet of crisps. I couldn't get, just couldn't get to sleep, I couldn't get comfortable. Serves me right, so I'll not be doing that again. I need to come out again in a few days. I'll certainly be eating. I'll certainly be eating then and drinking some, getting some juice, some water. Everybody's up. Stuart had a good sleep, as I said. 13 hours. Aye, 13 hours, eh? I'm still a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll not do that again. I'm, I'll make sure I eat something. Did you tell people you've got a, a meal in your tent, Eddie? Aye, I've got a I've got a chili, but I just couldn't be too lazy to make it, and then I just I suffered all night. <laughs> Is it one of the boil in the bag ones? Aye. You just eat it cold. Ah, oh, nah, nah. That's just me. I'll survive. We're just going to slowly get ready and we'll be away. Still, we've got a decent walk back because we've got a steep bit to do in the walk back. It's quite a steep walk up that hill. So we've got a, a bit of effort to get back. Aye. It's one bit that's steep on the way back. I think we'll Probably go the shorter way back once we get to the 
green side. But anyway, right, let's let's get on with it. Right, folks, that's it. I'm going to end it here so we can concentrate on getting out. See, I just loved that when I was like. Right, there's uh, Stuart and Keith. Go out with them again, maybe up here or somewhere else. So, I'll see you for the next one.